All right, man. Kevin Durant says uh, that Stephen A. Smith and uh, other media members ruined the NBA. All right. Check out the NBA Talk playlist for more videos like this. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit on notification. Increase chance of notification. All right. Um, yeah, uh, let's read what he got to say. Adre, I got something to say. He says the war between Brooklyn Nets star Kevin Durant. Hold on, make sure the audio. Yeah, we good. Kevin Durant in the NBA media continues. Uh, continued this week in a series of tweets stemming from, of course, something Stephen A. Smith said on ESPN's first take. Direct to his win, Stephen A. Smith said Michael Jordan changed the game of basketball for worse because of how he individualized the sport. Smith argued the NBA focused more on players rather than teams after Jordan's ascension, uh, which negatively changed the dynamic of the game. Okay, we already talked about this, but if you didn't see it, Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan is responsible as much as anybody for the change in the game for the war. So my horrible Stephen A. Smith impression. He was so phenomenal that the NBA market marketed the individual. The audience gravitated towards the individual. The game became a bit more individualized. What I'm saying is you were thinking team until Jordan elevated it to another level. And for Michael Jordan, you had Kobe's, Vince Carter's, and others that came along thereafter in the individualization of the sport, particularly because of the money that came with it, became more of a vocal point. Durant refuted the idea and instead suggested a tweet on Thursday that media personalities like Stephen A. Smith, Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp actually changed the game for the worse, not the players. My theory is guys like Stephen, Skip, Shannon have changed the game for the worse. Players like Stephen, uh, players like Stephen and Michael can only, I think even Stephen and Michael can only push the game forward. Okay. Um, so he replied, he fired back before he fired. Let's read it. He said, news for you, KD. We ain't going in any damn place for every, for every Stephen A, Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, and others. There are thousands more coming down the pipe, facts. We're not going away. We multiply. Sorry. So uh, Eddie Johnson, a color count analyst for the Phoenix Suns, disagreed with Smith's argument, responded to Durant tweet by calling athletes too damn sick, sensitive, that Durant responded to that media member are actually uh, the ones who are sensitive and can't take it with y'all dish out. He says that, uh, no, he said, I disagree with Stephen A. Take, but he has the right to state his opinion because of one reason. He put it, he put in the damn work. I'll be honest, I can't stand those other two mentioned, talking about Sip and standing, but they are putting in work. Athletes today are too damn sensitive to focus on comments negative uh, comment comments negative and whatever else he said didn't show uh, he said no nah, member ministers member meters are sensitive as soon as an athlete disagree with these outlandish hot takes y'all take it personal shots at your character laugh out loud it's insane how y'all can't take what y'all dish out but it's the athletes who lack the mental toughness i mean all right man I, do i gotta keep reading all this man all right man straight up and down Stephen a smith ain't lying <laughs> that's what I'm going to say. Michael Jordan, you know, um, that's true, but he could even win even a thousand times worse. He could have win a thousand times worse. Superstar cause, flagrance. They made sure Michael Jordan uh, made it. They they made sure Michael Jordan made it to the mountaintop. No cap. That That's that's an honest opinion, bro, because that's, that's a fact. Flagrance came because of Michael Hand checking you was was minimized because of Michael. You couldn't touch superstar calls came because of Michael. Not being able to touch LeBron James, that's become a, because of Michael. You remember Bill and Beer used to go knuckle up versus uh uh Larry Bird. You could touch Larry, you could punch Larry, and the game is still commenced. Same thing for magic, elbow magic, all of that. But magic and bird was what helped start commercializing the NBA. They took the NBA national. Michael took a global. And the NBA capitalized off Michael individuality. You, Michael, Michael Jordan was so big, he wasn't even in the video game. The nigga was player 99. Remember, was it live? The live with Tim Duncan on there? Or, you know, you had to beat with Kevin Garnett. You had to beat Michael Jordan one on one. And that shit was hard to unlock him. That type of superstar Michael was, you know, it did make the game for the worse. It wasn't because, you know, people try to be like Mike and score per se and they individualized and they want to score and all that. Cool. They, you know, he was telling the truth, but 
What hurt what hurt the NBA is when they start they superstar calls, protection of players, the inequality came with Michael. It did. You know, and also Magic and Bird, they always wanted big market teams in there. But you got to think about it before Magic and Bird, it was the NBA finals was on tape delay. Wilt, Kareem, Oscar, Jerry West, Elgin Baylor, Jamal Wilkes, guys like that. Dr. J couldn't even get them on regular TV. And at the time, regular TV was everything. You know, right after, right around when Magic and them came, I think cable, be, premium television became, was starting out. But regular TV, the Johnny Carson show, the late night shows, I was going to put a poll up. Who still watched the late night show? Like, why did that shit still come on? You know what I'm saying? But that those were huge back in the day. So it was hard to get on regular TV, man. And, um, you know, baseball probably was the dominant sport. Tennis was dominant. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, he right, though. But, you know, his reasons were, were the Diet Coke version. And I'm not talking push the T. His reasons were the Diet Coke versions. Why? They made sure Michael, they paved, you know, you know, they paved Michael Rose for Michael to make it to work. They took Rick Horn off the Pistons, put him on the expansion, Minnesota Timberwolves, right? They started putting flagrants, started suspending people, charging people for flagrants. And once he got past Detroit, then it was pretty much, you couldn't touch Michael no more. Me and my dad were just talking about this the other day, bro. Literally, a couple weeks ago. Michael Jordan did destroy basketball. And then they was always looking for the next, well, after Magic and Bird, they was looking for the next Magic and Bird. They found Michael. After Michael Jordan, they was looking for the next Michael. You know, after Michael, they was looking for LeBron. Now they looking for the next LeBron. And Zion Williams just can't stay off the damn uh, all you can eat crab leg buffet. That's the only problem with him. <laughs> but they always trying to look for that next one and try to market an individual and market a star and make it easy. The difference with LeBron James was, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, he just couldn't cut the he just couldn't cut it. Maybe because he ended up in Cleveland, but but yeah, Michael Jordan had to go join no super team or nothing like that. Because if we being uh if we being frank, he didn't have to. He didn't have to. Real talk, he didn't have to, bro. Because they made sure everything fell in place for Michael. They made sure everything fell in place for Michael. They took players off their teams for Michael. They changed the rules for Michael. You couldn't touch Michael. Real talk. He telling the truth and Kevin Durant can get in his feelings and blame the media, but everybody can have an opinion. And Stephen A's opinion is, is very, very uh, uh, profitable for him. But he just be, he, I mean, it is what it is. You know, step up to the place that, well, you know, Steph Curry and Michael Jordan moved to game four. Fine. That's your opinion. I lived through Michael, bro. He did set the game back. He did, and I and he can, you know, I, we can get on there and we can talk about facts. That is the fact. And I don't really hold it against Michael too much. See, when people say, oh, no, don't push the game forward for me. Uh, come on. When money got involved, you know, he got involved. Really tripping about it. You know? But it's true. And then he want to go. We want to get mad at Michael for having an opinion. Well, start your own podcast and have your own opinion like Draymond. Because the very same people you beefing with in the media, you going to try to join the media. If you don't try to join the media, your contemporaries going to try to join the media. It is what it is. If you if you don't man look here if I can if I don't like what somebody's saying, I just don't listen, bro. I just don't listen. Simple as that. I don't subscribe to people. You know what I'm saying? If I don't like what Draymond and Shaq say, I'm not gonna follow a podcast. If I don't like what Timmy, Bob, Jill, Jack, and and and, and, and Michael say, I'm not gonna watch their podcast. But that dude did. And then you talk. They did ruin the NBA. Then y'all niggas can't play basketball no way. Y'all, y'all can't, y'all not, it, it didn't manifest until y'all really can't touch each other. Go for the ball, it's a flagrant, you getting kicked out of the game, y'all soft as hell, the product, trash. I was arguing with Jim and I, who some of the game is in a great place. Where, what era you grew up in, the, the fucking 2010s? Y'all remember what basketball was like, some of y'all, you know, 
in in the nineties, in the eighties. This this shit trash. I be having a hard time watching the whole game, holding my attention, because what they did to the game of basketball, they this they basically made it flag football. They talking about the NFL becoming flag football. They basically made this flag football, flag basketball. You ever see somebody run up the court and they put a shoulder on you and they go up for a layup? It's a foul on you, bro. They don't want them touching each other no more. Just turn into horse. Alan Silver has done a horrible job of, of extending the game. And David, David Stern did a horrible job, too. He was the one that put all the rules in, in place to protect Michael. You know what I'm saying? Hope he had a jump man on his casket because, shit, he paid away from Michael. So, hell, yeah, this shit trash, man. And a lot of people feel the same way about the 90s, too, even though, to me, it was obviously it was far more physical than today. But a lot of people feel the same way about the 90s. I'm talking about the barbershop years ago, he said, the same way you feel about LeBron, I feel about Michael. Nobody won when Michael was there. At least with LeBron, there, everybody getting a chance. But off, that's the NBA. It has no parity. They've never saw the parity problem. Then they add two more teams. They're giving Seattle a team again, and then they're adding um, Las Vegas a team. It's the room. So in a, in a sport of no parity, you're adding two more teams. What are they going to do with the parity? You might as well just not have a salary cap. Because you it's not becoming competitive. Let's keep letting these people and then LeBron James and Kevin Durant help destroy the other. I mean, I have to be say this if I before I get out of here, they help destroy basketball too. LeBron ain't going to seek out a fake championship. You know what I'm saying? Joining Chris Bosch and Dwayne Wayne. People say, Well, you know, they didn't win before. Man, get out of here, man. You know, they formed a super team. And then people got mad when Kevin Durant did the same thing. But if the face of the league doing it, he set the standard, I'm gonna do it too. And they just mad because Kevin Durant did it better, but that super team shit destroyed it too. But then again, AAU been destroy uh, the competitive nature in basketball. That's why LeBron James loved te teaming up with everybody. But nonetheless, that is what it is. We could talk about the destruction in the NBA. That that can be that can be a hundred part series, dude. And I'm just gonna be speaking facts, you know. But um, check out the NBA Talk playlist. Thumbs up, the, thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. That subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Uh, Finance, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in description. Uh, also, you can find all my information in my link trace. The first link in description from Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. All in a couple clicks. Appreciate the love and support. Check out the NBA Talk playlist. Let me know what you think in the comment section one time for the one time.